with our temperatures again by 1:30, we're all still sitting in the lower to upper 50s, a few 60s right around I-94, but we are going to slowly see those temperatures fall when we usually would see them rise during the afternoon hours. It'll be the opposite for today as that cold front gets off to our east and we fall into the upper 40s and lower 50s by 5 p.m. right around sunset and then we'll still uh, fall for the rest of the evening and into the overnight period down into the 30s. So most of us will be waking up to those temperatures right around the freezing mark and then we'll start to see those temperatures rising again back towards the normal high temperature of 45 degrees for tomorrow. Now rain and snow chances are going to increase on Sunday. And yeah, we could have some accumulating snowfall that actually sticks and starts to pile up a little bit as we move into the day on Sunday. It's going to be with this system, which is actually getting some moisture from the south, and it's going to be moving into our southern sections of the Great Lakes. So we are going to be on the northern side of the system, the colder side, but depending on where it tracks, it's looking like the heaviest snow will actually be just off to our east towards Ann Arbor, Detroit, Flint, where they could pick up an inch or two of snow here in West Michigan. It's pretty much going to be east and south of I-94 US 131 right around the I-94 corridor that could pick up about a half of an inch of snowfall with this system on Sunday. We'll watch the track of it. If it actually starts to trend a little bit further off to the north, we could see more areas getting into that inch to inch variety of snowfall. But for the most part, expect more of a wintry type feel for the end of the weekend. After we start things out with some sunshine tomorrow, temperatures at 45 degrees. And as we trend towards Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving actually looking like the best day out of the next seven temperatures nearing 50 with some sunshine.